Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a 50 by 20 one bedroom floor plan in SmartDraw. SmartDraw is an online application which can be used to create floor plans, flow charts and other diagrams. You don't have to sign up to use SmartDraw. But to save your work online, you will definitely need a sign up. Now let us see how to use SmartDraw to create a floor plan. First, go to smartdraw.com then click on start now button then click on floor plans residential and then click on residential floor plan to draft the floor plan from scratch next click on units and scale then click on architectural and then click on 3 by 16 inch equals 1 feet or you may choose your own preferred scale. Next click on add annotation layer to add the title block. Next scroll down and click on room outlines and click and drag the rectangular room. Then delete the existing door for now as we shall add the doors and windows later. Next right click on the outline and select set wall thickness. Then click on exterior wall and type 9 inches and press the ok button. You may set your preferred wall thickness as per your requirement. Next go to the design tab then click on dimensions then select measure wall from exterior and click on the ok button next click and edit the width and height as 50 feet by 20 feet respectively You will need to press the enter key once after editing the values. Next right click on the outline and click on add wall segment. Then drag and adjust the wall as shown. Next change the size of the newly created wall segments to 12 feet and 15 feet respectively. Next set the overall measurement of the left side wall back to 20 feet. Next click on add wall and draw the walls with any measurement as shown. Then right click on the wall just created and click on set wall thickness then click on interior wall type 4.5 inches and click on the ok button then set the height and width as 10 feet and 15 feet respectively as shown Then move and align the wall as shown. Next create another wall and place and adjust as shown. Next create one more wall then take the measure distance tool and create a measurement for 12 feet. Next 
move, resize and align the wall along the measurement as shown. Next, scroll down and click on Doors and Windows under Symbols. Then drag the door onto the floor plan. Then set the measurement as 3 feet 6 inches. Next, flip, rotate and place the door where required. Similarly, place all doors and windows as shown. You can hold down the control key and click and drag to make multiple copies of the objects and you may use the arrow key to adjust the position of the objects. Since the dimensions look cluttered, you may turn off it by going to the dimension area and unchecking show dimensions checkbox. Next, insert a rectangle in the porch area and fill it with a hatch pattern as shown. Next, search for car symbol and place it on the porch area as shown. Next, insert furniture, kitchen assets, 
and bathroom assets as shown. If you have a closer look, you can see that there is an eye icon on all of the symbols. To hide it, go to the data and click on hide shape data as shown. Next, add the measurements and annotations using the text tool as shown. You can change the text properties such as font size, color, etc. on the home tab. Certain options such as text alignment, bullets and numbering, etc. are available on the design tab.
you may use the measurement tool to measure the distance and cross verify the measurements. Next, double click and fill in the details of the floor plan in the title block section as shown. You may switch to annotation layer to fine tune the title block. Next, click on the I button and click on toggle full screen to view the floor plan in full screen mode. Please note that you will need a paid subscription to download your creations, but luckily you may take a screenshot of your creation. Dear viewers, I hope that this tutorial is helpful. Please subscribe, like and share this video. I'll see you all in my next video with another awesome content. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.